my parents sent me to Dublin and uh, I went to a boarding school. And then one of the days, it just seemed to be a pure coincidence, someone from GQ magazine in London asked me if I wanted to participate in a model contest. And by that time, modeling was nowhere near in my friend's family anywhere. I was 17, uh, we weren't interested in fashion, so it was very early. And um, they sent me back home to school, to my parents, and then I finished my school and my agency from London, who I then had when I was 17, um, placed me in an agency in Hamburg. And that's where it slowly started. I take my social media not too, um, uh, not too serious, to be honest. Um, I try not to do too much. I'm aware of the fact that um, you know, there is a demand um, out there, that I have an audience, and um, I, I like the com direct communication I have with the audience. I see feedback, I see when women uh, tag their boyfriends or husbands and note that they should wear a certain suit or a shirt or a shoe that I'm wearing or posting in the photo. So it's nice to see that, you know, someone takes inspiration of either my work or, you know, the way um, I live my life or go about fashion or different things. But um, I try to keep my private life private, so I'm not um, showing too much of our private life. And if, if you think that you have to do it, then um, um, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a good time to step away from it and just take a break. Well, I try to see my friends, of course. Um, you know, that the time where I had classic hobbies like reading or playing tennis or whatnot, you know, has changed a little bit because we're so busy doing things that in the time when you're not working, it takes a second to come down and relax and do the stuff that you want to do. So I really enjoy my weekends. Um, I try to read the weekend paper. Um, my wife and I, were really active, so we'll go out to the countryside, we'll take the dog, we'll um, visit friends. Um, I'm a big movie buff, so I know film a lot, and um, I watch a lot of films, so I think that's one of my biggest hobbies, next to photography. Three fashion items a man should own. One of them is a navy suit, it takes you everywhere. You can. Um, you can wear it up or down. Um, I think a really good um, classic Oxford shoe is great. And then a white sneaker, a tennis sneaker, something as they're popular right now. Um, every man should also have, um, yeah, some, you know, a personal item. I, for example, um, my grandfather gave me a watch when I graduated from university, which is very dear to me. And, um, if you're lucky you're married, a wedding band is nice to own. I was introduced by a good friend of mine to his tailor in Germany, um, probably at the age of 26, 27. And uh, I didn't have any interest uh, in wearing formal wear or suits before. It was an eye-opener immediately because I was, I was able to uh, lose my shyness of wearing suits through the guidance of a tailor who um, creates an outfit for you that fits you perfectly. Usually when you um, go in a store and buy it you know, off the pack, you have to do a little alterations here and there. And at a tailor's house, you know, everything is made to measure for yourself. My best memory? Oh, there's so many. Um, um, I don't know. I guess my wedding day was great. So. Mm. Exactly. It's a good apple.